What's up guys, my name is Max and today we will be building a rear all steel bumper and spare tire carrier and high level jack carrier for the K5 Blazer. So if I bring you over here, we have removed the stock bumper. We're gonna use these factory mounts so that we can incorporate this. This is, these springs help lower the tailgate down slowly so it doesn't slam, break the glass inside. We're gonna reuse these mounts uh, so the first thing is we got to cut a quarter inch plate to match with this and give us kind of a flat vertical angle and then we can start building the bumper we're going to use the same kind of design that i used on the front bumper but uh let me show you guys this up here so i was build this in the last video um the only difference on the rear bumper is on the front we cut um two inches up to give the front approach angle as much space as possible on the rear we will be um, only removing one inch uh, at the side and the reason for that is because the spare tire carrier has got to go here and it's kind of beefy and we want to give it as much kind of uh, meat and muscle to bolt into as possible um, because it's got to support quite a bit of weight we're only running 33s right now but we should be able to run a 35 inch tire in the near future and the carrier should be able to carry up to a 37 inch tire comfortably uh, based on weight. And the way I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do basically a half carrier on one side and we're gonna leave the other side blank for now, um, but in the future potentially we'll be adding a second carrier, maybe for jerry cans and fuel or, or something else, we'll see. Um, so first thing is we got to build some bumper mounts um, and for that it's nothing more than a little cardboard aided design and uh, cut out some quarter inch plate. So we got our plates drilled out. Um, I can put three bolts in here um, and this actually curves down quite a bit. You see it sticks a little bit more on the other one. These are now vertical so we can basically go and cut our um, bumper plate and I decided on 75 and a half inches total width, which should take me right out to the edge of the body line and um, should, be, should be pretty good. Um, we want this one to be a little wider than the front uh, because it's got to support that, that hinge system. And unlike a Jeep, so a Jeep's tailgate is like here to here. On this truck, it's a full-size tailgate like a, like a pickup truck has. So we really got to make the most of these like four or five inches um, that we have on the outside for mounting uh, that bracket. So we're going to do a full width bumper, 75 and a half inches. Um, but that way it shouldn't protrude and so it won't get caught on stuff. So if you're like scraping the side, you won't get you won't get caught on a, on a tree or on ground or anything. So these were basically just five by five uh, quarter inch plates that we cut and drilled out. Um, now I'm just gonna get the chop saw and cut down the, uh, the bumper section. So we ended up doing a 76 total length and I decided not to cut this down. We're gonna use the full width because there's no approach angle from the rear unless you're off-roading backwards. These are our frame mounts. They're uh, wider, I think they're like 34 inches wide uh, compared to like 26 the front or whatever it was. Um, and so we're going to move these inboard. This is where our, our um, shackle points are going to go. Uh, in the middle here, we're going to put this. This is a standard receiver tube. We're going to cut this down dramatically. I think this is 18 inches. We're going to cut it down to eight or nine, basically four inches in front, two inches in the rear so we can gusset it. Um, this is our uh, wiring for the trailer. Uh, potentially brake controller and so on. We're gonna weld uh, chain loops under here. It's just so that there's any trailer chain. This guy, so I'm gonna get the plasma cutter and just start going to town on, on cutting these things out. Um, there's really not a whole lot to it. If you don't have a plasma cutter, you can use a cutoff wheel and, a, and basically just drill out the corners uh, to give yourself a smooth, uh, a smooth cut. Um, there's any number of tools that you can use, but uh, this my little two hundred dollar plasma torch is is by far uh, my favorite tool for going about this kind of work. So here's our kind of final cut. We have our receiver, 
our electrical plug. We're gonna drill another hole in the back side for the wires. We got our uh, D-ring shackles. And then after this, we'll mount the bumper to the truck and then we can figure out where we're gonna put our spare tire carrier, stuff like that. Uh, but first I'm gonna weld these in, cut this down, weld this in. Um, just kind of get some of these basic things uh, in place. Now I went ahead and welded on these mounts. Um, we may gusset them in the future, um, but I think for now, quarter inch plate double welded is good. We gusseted um, our tow hitch, which is very important. Um, probably would have been enough just to do the perimeter weld, but I always add these little uh, gussets. These are three sixteenths, I think, because they were just a scrap piece that was cut over from, or left over from one of the cuts. So next comes the interesting part where we gotta install this guy. I believe this is an inch and a half diameter. Basically I went two inches in from the outside, dead nuts in the middle. We're going to plasma cut out holes on both ends. We're gonna leave about an eighth of an inch exposed. Cut this rod down to four inches. Um, and then basically fully weld it here, here, and then probably um, do some welds on the inside here where we can reach before we plate this up. Uh, and, and close it. So that's kind of all there is to that. Once that goes in, um, <clears throat> we're probably going to mount this whole assembly on the truck and then begin building the actual spare tire carrier from there. Uh, the only other thing that I need to talk about is basically in the back side of this hole, we're going to drill another hole um, and do use this little rubber grommet, and the rubber grommet will pass the wires back. Um, and then we'll we'll get to that uh, a little bit later. But first, we got to uh, cut this out, cut these holes out with a plasma cutter, get this thing centered in there, um, and make sure that uh, it's going to sit correctly uh, on the truck, and uh, start building our little frame. So here's this piece, basically welded to the bottom, welded to the top, and I also ran beads on the inside for extra support. Um, you can see the spins. I haven't greased any of these bearings, otherwise they'd be smoking right now. So now we're going to reinstall this back on the truck and start fabricating the kind of main piece of it. So here's our kind of structure coming together. Um, theoretically, this will hold up to a 40 inch tire because this distance here is like 22 inches or so. Um, we got 33s. We might go to a 30, uh, 35, so we got plenty of space. This is eight inches. Um, again, correct backspacing kind of this, give us lots of space, because we uh, also have to mount a high lift jack back here. So kind of the next step we got is, um, you need to cut some reinforcements, some gussets, and weld all that in and kind of finish weld this. Um, and then I'm gonna have to run to the parts store, because we're gonna need some half inch studs and um, uh, lug nuts so we can mount the plate to here. Um, and I still gotta figure out, like I said, how we're gonna mount the, the high lift jack, um, but all coming together uh, pretty smoothly here. So here we go. Um, we've got the main arm all installed. You can see there's plenty of clearance. This is our high lift jack. We're gonna basically mount it like such. So let me see if I can pick this up one-handed without dropping anything heavy. Basically the high lift jack is going to mount like that. We're going to build a, a base plate here um, to kind of keep everything kosher. And on this end we're just going to do a cross brace. I mean, we're going to do a, a cross brace on both, but they have to be kind of small because they've got to clear uh, the jack foot on this side. Um, we'll see, maybe we'll move this out slightly like that to keep the angle kind of minimal. Um, so that's kind of that. Seems like we're coming through pretty good here. So here's our high lift jack mount. Basically we have a plate here with a removable pin. And then another plate with a welded in removable pin and this will be welded and then gusseted down uh, so it can't move. But this can move around a little bit in here but it uh, shouldn't go anywhere. 
and in the future they this is a standard half inch pin here so i can actually replace this with a special half inch pin lock if i'm going somewhere where i'm worried stuff like this gets stolen um, other than that it looks pretty good i just realized i didn't finish weld here and here so i need to do that we've added caps to the bumpers caps to the uh to the um spare tire hitch so i think the next thing i'm gonna take this off get it finished welded um, and then i think the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to set up this latch um, and weld up the actual uh, uh, bumper itself and install our wiring i'm probably not going to wire this immediately because uh, i don't have a need to pull the trailer in the next few days and um, i want to paint these things but i do want to get everything uh, basically all the metal work finished today mocked up and welded um, it looks pretty good and as you can see we have space here on the left hand side if we want to add another swing a smaller swing arm with like jerry cans or something can do that as well as adding like a shovel or some other tools here we have a, a fair amount of space back here um, so it's looking pretty good it's coming together pretty well all right we're finally nearing the end let me catch you guys up on what i've done here so we're using one of these locking latches it allows a little bit of movement but not a lot and you just pop that now this whole thing swings uh, on one finger which lets me show you this other feature we've added is this pin stop and what it does is allows me to do that now this is locked all the way open i can open the tailgate without worrying about the weight of that swinging back if we're opening it on a hill or something i can basically swing it all the way open and uh, not worry about anything getting damaged um, this guy just got welded on um, i'm actually not going to install the plug yet i drilled out the back side here to allow the wires out i've also added these hooks this is for trailer chains um, we've greased and tightened this down out of this cap um, nothing super special there here's kind of the back side of our high lift jack um, as you can see it's pretty well secured in place i might add another uh, set pin here just to prevent it from being able to move around quite so much um, but right now it's like it won't leave it just might be a little bit noisy so all that's left is we're going to add our license plate here um, i still need to do license plate wiring uh, for the light as well as for the towing stuff um, but it's about a thousand degrees out here so i'm just going to finish up the bare essentials to go off-roading tomorrow which is putting a license plate back on the truck um, and i'll show you guys how we do that just real basic little mounts Okay guys, let me show you the finished product. Here we go, we got our shackles on, we got our tire on. Um, I might add another stop pin. This doesn't seem like it's gonna bounce off, but uh, uh, if it's kinda loud, we may end up having to fix that. But other than that, you can see the whole design looks pretty good. Tire is solidly mounted. Um, so if we take this, and it's one hand operation, swing it out bring it all the way out pop that pin boom and now she's uh she's locked in we can open the tailgate we can open the tailgate and ah cock apparently i didn't measure quite well enough um, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to shave that to make it work. Ugh, that's lame. Um, I knew something would, would come back and get me. But all in all, looks pretty good. Uh, eventually, I need to add something to protect the gas tank here in the back um, from like a drop off or something like that. But uh, And we need to add lights. But for a first round, it's pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to cover it in black bed liner product uh, that I have laying around the front and the rear. But I'll do that sometime next week. It's not a, not a big thing. So I hope you like the video. If you like the channel, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, check out our other K5 Blazer build videos and the other playlists and all the other cool videos on the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave me a note down below. Check out the Blazer Excel sheet if you want to find uh, Amazon links for any of these parts. Uh, I love you guys. 
Peace.